Hello everyone, it's your lovely Abby Dagren, and welcome back to my channel, lovelies. Today I'll be speaking on or continuing the series of natal chart analysis on my channel, and today I'll be doing one on Machine Gun Kelly. I'll be speaking on his characteristic traits, as well as his personality traits based off of his natal chart. I will also be linking a lot of his success to his natal chart as well. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video, lovelies. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Also, make sure you share this video with everyone you know, whether it's your friends, your family members, your enemies, anyone in general who loves natal charts, or anyone in general who really loves Machine Gun Kelly. And last but not least, please make sure you hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. Machine Gun Kelly was born on April 22, 1990, so this qualifies him to be a Taurus. So having this placement in the sun section makes sure that he's very loyal. He's also very ambitious. He's very tenacious as well. He's also someone who's very sensual, he's very stable, and because he is a fixed sign, because Taurus is not only a fixed sign but an earth sign, he does tend at times to be stubborn. He's someone who's also very practical, and he's also a productive type of person. He's also someone who's very kind, very generous, very trustworthy. He is someone who's very determined, very hardworking. He's also very gentle but he's also very patient and very independent. However, at times he can be possessive and materialistic and someone who just loves to be self-indulgent. So this explains him very well. Next up is his moon in Pisces. He tends to be someone who's very dreamy, compassionate and very intuitive that comes with a water moon especially Pisces intuition is something that really leads them they're the type of people who will have dreams and those dreams turn out to be true and being a huge dreamer is something that at times is beneficial for them like knowing what's going to happen in the future but at some times they will not be in touch with reality but their intuition does make up for that dreaming part they always trust their gut instinct about anything and they are good at sensing other people's feelings. They're also the type of people that will put themselves in other people's shoes and make sure that their feelings are being felt. Because of this, they're very kind-hearted and compassionate. However, at times, people with this placement are taken advantage of and that's something that they will need to work on. Next up is his Taurus Mercury, and it's great that he has his Sun and his Mercury in the same sign. He tends to be very patient, very understanding. He gives practical and down-to-earth advice. He does have a reflective mind, and he's someone who's very dependable. He does have a calming influence, and he's not a person that will panic, so having this placement or having someone with this placement is very great in a very serious situation because they will think logically, and they're not going to panic because they're going to figure it out because they're dependable. They're the type of people that generates people's trust very easily. He always knows where he stands with people, so if you have a relationship with him, you know where you stand with him. He's going to be honest about it, whether you're friends or not or in a relationship. He's also someone who's traditional and he does feel like he's very artistic, but he's the type of person to come to when you want like a common sense advice. Next up is his Venus in Pisces and we do all know that Venus rules Taurus and Libra. However, a lot of people feel as though Pisces and Venus is a good placement as well because the love that people with this placement have for their significant other is something that's just very beautiful. So they tend to be very loving. They tend to be very spiritual when they're in a relationship. They're artistic. They are creative. They are very compassionate. They're the type of people that will blend in with their feelings of their partners. They're the type of people who are adaptable and they just love to have secrets with their partners or anybody in a relationship with. 
they do love a fantasy so they're going to make sure that the fantasy that they have with you comes into existence they're also people who may at times have escapism however at the end of the day if they love you they truly love you and you will know and feel it Next up is his Mars in Pisces, and with this third placement in Pisces, this gives him a stellium in Pisces. So having this placement, he tends to be very social and very analytical as well. Even though at times he can be moody and inconsistent, his sociability and him looking into different situations from an analytical point of view really does help him a lot. Also with this placement, he is the type of person to have diffused anger, so he doesn't get angry very fast. And if he does get angry, then he will just he'll be able to control it. He does have a procrastinating drive, so Mars is your drive, what leads you, and he does procrastinate or tends to procrastinate with this placement. He is someone who has escapist tendencies that I guarantee he's working on. He's someone who's very artistic and he has a great imagination, so it's a great placement. Next up is his Jupiter in Cancer, and with this placement, he tends to be someone who's very devoted and very receptive to different things. So at times he can be easily influenced as well, but with his devotion, it's great for someone in a relationship, or it's even great for someone who will attract stuff. Having this placement, he is instinctive and attracts luck and good fortune. And this is good because it's good for his occupation, so he knows which things to go into and which ones not to go into, not only because of his good luck and his good fortune, but also because he has that instinct. And that comes from having a cancer or water sign in this placement. He gets his growth from compassion and empathy and he has an understanding of people and a knowledge that helps him get abundance from the universe. So this is a great placement. Next up is his Saturn in Capricorn. With this placement, he is serious-minded and mature. He has the ability to take on responsibilities and to carry out important duties. He's also someone that can be trusted and is very extremely practical and thrifty. This comes with him having an Earth sign in Saturn, and Saturn is ruled by Capricorn, so this is an excellent placement for him. So the responsibilities come easily to him. People feel as though he's a responsible person, so they will give him things to do. That's why he's a great organizer and he's the ideal one to be counted on to take a clearly defined project through its logical conclusion, bringing logicality and bringing a defineness to projects are something that comes with his placement. He's an achiever and he prides himself in his ability to focus his attention totally on something worthwhile and a goal that he needs to attain. So this is what comes with this placement. Next up is his Uranus in Capricorn, and with this placement, he tends to be all about planning for the future as much as possible, and this makes him an automatic innovator because when you want to plan for the future and make things possible, being an innovator is what's going to come into place because finding ways to make money is just so many options so he's going to be innovative with it also him and his peer group as well seek out practical solutions to changing society's attitudes to customs traditions and authority structures his logical and orderly manner of dealing with these manners will result in permanent and carefully planned but sweeping reforms so having this placement anyone in this generation with a Capricorn and Uranus, this is what they want. Next up is his Neptune and Capricorn, and this will make him have another Stellium and Capricorn. He is generally successful with wealthy endeavors, but he may have trouble at times settling down in one career. So if you look at Machine Gun Kelly's career you do see that he is very successful and he has been in different groups he has done a lot of different things that make him a very successful person as well and settling into one career it could be hard for him even though he is in music having that exposure in music will be able 
to help them get into different careers because usually when you're in music, some people will go into acting, some people will go into fashion or promoting things or promoting projects. So things like that, this placement not only goes well with his personality, but it also goes well with his career because that's what more than likely is going to happen. Up next is his Pluto and Scorpio. And since he was born between 1984 and 1995, he is a millennial. And Pluto is exalted in Scorpio, so this is a great placement for anyone who's born in this era. So he tends to have an intensity, and he's the type of person or people in this generation tend to face things that are considered scary from previous generations. He is someone who is making collective issues conscious, so he's going to make sure that things that were left in the past and that people didn't talk about is now being talked about. He's the type of person that is about revolutions, and about movements, and he's going to make sure that in the previous or in the next generations that people will not have to deal with the same problems that he's dealing with now. And that's something that's very memorable about the millennials and anyone born with a Pluto and Scorpio. Next up is his North Node in Aquarius. And in order for him to really live his life, or in order for him to gain all the gifts and talents that he wants, he will need to accomplish this mission. So first things first is be unusual, and that's something that he is. He's very different. He needs to learn the way of the inter, create and connect to all different types of friendships. So go and be friends with anybody, regardless of what other people may say, just be yourself. Learn to open up your heart and build fulfilling relationships with those around you. Learn to share his emotions with others. Focus his energies on being unique, and people love him for being unique. Find a way to make people understand just how much you value your freedom. Surround himself with those that know that he is peaceful, inventive, creative, and friendly and loving. And just be the master humanitarian. So that's what he needs to accomplish in his lifetime. Next up is his Chiron and Cancer. And this wound is related to individual sense of self-love and nourishment. And with this placement, someone may likely have undergone neglect in their early life or, you know, being harmed, influencing them to feel insecure, emotional, and needy. Because of this, they may lash themselves on to other people who really don't care for them and they will suck out of the life out of them and any love and care that they get, they will attach to that person. And this can be bad because they just won't be able to have a good relationship with people and they will just end up manipulating others because they feel as though that's the only way for them to get love. However, in order for them to heal, they will need to go over the past of their life, get the therapy they need and realize that they are not their past and that regardless of what has happened to them, they can be the best and there are good people out here. Next up is his rising slash ascendant in Gemini. And with this placement, he is someone who loves to learn. He's restless and appears impatient at times. He has a talent with words. He sees both sides, so he's bubbly and he's also intellectual. He appears very witty and charming. He does have a short attention span. He loves to mimic other people's personality traits or style. He does not like schedules he may be gifted with his hands he is a social butterfly he's very versatile he's very clever he is a very logical person as well and having this traits really make him the person that he is because he seems like a fun type of person and he seems like someone who is someone who would love to be in the position he's in so his stardom makes sense with this placement basically Last but not least is his mid-heaven in Aquarius. And being the type of person that he is makes so much sense. Having a public image is something that is interesting because he has the image of being starbound, spellbound, complex. And he's very unique, benevolent, special. He's the wild card. So this makes sense in regards to his placement and the type of person he's in. He is a singer and he is someone who loves to go into the arts. 
people do consider him to be very different and he is a person that tries to embrace social marginalization to fall in love with himself and having this placement makes so much sense because if you look at him and you look at this placement it makes sense that his image and his persona is the way that it is based off of his Aquarius midheaven so I believe he really lives up to this placement in the best way that's all I have for you lovelies today in regards to Machine Gun Kelly's natal chart. Please let me know down below in the comments section how you felt about it. Did you learn more about him? Did you get a better understanding as to who he is as a person? Please let me know down in the comments section. Also, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Please make sure you hit that like button and share this video with everyone you know, whether it's your friends, family members, enemies. Last but not least, please make sure you follow me on all of my social media accounts from Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, TikTok, Snapchat at AbbyDagrin88. And also you guys can support me through my SC store and through my PayPal. Email link down below. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye lovelies!